okay, I've given my test, I activated it, my students took it, and now let's say that it has some elements that I need to grade. It might be that it had some short answer, it might have had some constructed response, maybe a writing prompt essay. What I want to do is I want to go into this score button score flip card and you've got the three options here the document camera performance based in this case it's constructed response and that's what I want to check now it automatically comes up with your last few tests and more in case you're grading one that isn't one one of the last few so I'm gonna click on the test that I gave you will have it come up so it just has your class periods and you can go through all your students or just one or two and there are different ways to grade it I'm going to show you by student first if I want to grade it by student then I come through I already did a little bit in here so you could see that I gave this student here's their response I gave them four points that's not really a four point answer I, I want to give them one point and there's four points possible this is a constructed response answer. Constructed response gives me a full rubric for each question. I can also click on teacher feedback and give them specific feedback if I want to. Now this next question, and you notice it only has two, even though this was a many question test, the others graded automatically. So you can miss types. And I can also see up here that uh, number three is already graded and number four is not. And I can of course go straight down to number four if I want or I can go up to number three. And also check this to just show the ones that aren't complete unless I have looked at all of them and so it's confused. Now on a short answer it only gives me two options. Even though it's worth four points I don't get the cool little rubric like I do for constructed response, I only get the option to see their notes and say no if it's wrong. I don't have to do anything if it's right. Then that's pretty handy. But it's an N if it's incorrect. I could also grade these by item. I've found as I graded things in other programs that it's sometimes much easier to grade all of the same question going through the class. And then I just have to remember one answer. So I can grade them by question if I prefer. Now, since I only had one student take it, you can't really see how that works. I could also do it by groups, or I could see a lot of different information. Here I can see the scores of my different test students and how they did. Now, once I'm finished with a student, I can move on to the next student. Here's a handy drop down that you can use for that purpose if you're doing it by if you're doing it by student